Did you know that there is a type of amoeba in warm freshwater environments such as lakes, rivers, hot springs and even poorly maintained swimming pools that can enter your body and feed on your brain? Welcome back Galaxians to your channel. In this video we're going to talk about the brain-eating amoeba. This amoeba called Nigleria fowleri is a type of microorganism that can cause a rare but fatal disease called PAM, stands for primary amoebic meningoencephalitis. When someone is exposed to Nigleria fowleri, the amoeba can cause inflammation and destruction of brain tissues. But can this amoeba cause human death? Unfortunately, the answer is yes, Nagleria fowleri can cause human death. The infection occurs when contaminated water containing the amoeba enters the nose, typically during water activities in warm freshwater environments. Once the amoeba enters the nasal passages, it travels through the olfactory nerve to the brain, causing inflammation and destruction of brain tissue. The symptoms of PAM usually appear within a few days of exposure and may include headache, fever, nausea, vomiting, stiff neck, confusion, seizures, and hallucinations. As the infection progresses, it can lead to coma and death. Now the question is, how long does it take for this amoeba to kill a human? The progression of Nagleria fowleri infection and the time it takes to cause death can vary from person to person. From the time of exposure to the onset of symptoms, it usually takes around 1 to 9 days for PAM to develop, with an average of 5 days. Once symptoms of PAM appear, the infection can progress quickly, leading to a decline in the person's condition. The symptoms may worsen within a matter of days, and if left untreated, the infection can be fatal within 1 to 18 days after the onset of symptoms. Due to the rapid progression of the infection and the difficulty in early diagnosis, it is crucial to seek immediate medical attention if there's a suspicion of Nagleria fowleri infection, especially after recent exposure to warm fresh water environments. Early diagnosis and treatment offer the best chance of survival, although the infection remains challenging to treat successfully. By the way, only 23% of our viewers consider subscribing. So, if you have enjoyed the video thus far, support us by hitting the subscribe button. Let's get back to the video. Although Nagleria fowleri infection is rare, it is very serious and difficult to diagnose, and as I said, early diagnosis and treatment are key to improving the chance of survival. Unfortunately, there is no known cure for PAM. How to prevent this amoeba from attacking us? To prevent Nagleria fowleri infection and reduce the risk of it attacking humans, follow these preventive measures. Avoid warm freshwater activities. Refrain from engaging in activities that could lead to water entering your nose in warm freshwater environments, such as lakes, rivers, hot springs and poorly maintained swimming pools. Use nose clips or hold your nose. When participating in water-related activities like diving, water sports or underwater activities in warm fresh water, consider using nose clips or holding your nose shut to prevent water from entering through your nasal passages. Use safe water sources. Stick to properly treated and chlorinated swimming pools or adequately maintained water parks with good water circulation. These places are less likely to harbor the amoeba. Avoid stirring up sediments. Be cautious not to disturb or stir up sediments in warm freshwater areas, as the amoeba can be present in higher concentrations near the lake or riverbed. Keep swimming pools clean. If you have a private swimming pool, maintain it properly with regular cleaning and disinfection to reduce the risk of amoeba growth. Use bottled or treated water for nasal rinsing. When performing activities like nasal irrigation or using a neti pod, only use a strill, distilled, or boiled water. Tap water may contain Nicleria fowleri, and using it for nasal rinsing can be dangerous. 
educate yourself and others, learn about the risks and symptoms of Nyclaria follower infection, educate others, especially children, about the importance of avoiding nasal exposure to warm fresh water, send this video to your friends so that they can also be informed. Remember. While Nyclaria follower infections are extremely rare, taking these precautions can help minimize the risk further and ensure your safety during water-related activities. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe.